Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea and I'm really excited to be here today uh, doing this with all of you. Um, it's my second video. My first one uh, did pretty well, I think, considering I was, oh, I was nervous, but excited at the same time. I'm just, like any of you, I'm just trying to follow my passion of art and oh, there's just so many things out there to learn from all of these amazing artists, um, I'm just really grateful. I'm even like just blessed to be even at this point I'm at. So I'm looking forward to doing a lot more. Um, today I am doing, it's I think a 10 inch round. It's an MDF canvas that my husband cut out. He bought the board a lot cheaper that way, I think. So, and um, do I know what I'm gonna do today? No, I, I had kind of a few thoughts in my mind. But my color palette, um, oh, I saw this on a Facebook group. I'm on Venom Fluid Art, Paint Pouring with Venom Fluid Art. If you have never checked it out, please do so. Amazing group of artists on there. Anyway, uh, shout out to my friend Polly Prissy Pants, amazing artist, and her hubby, Justin Sally. Um, she had this color palette that just made me go, what? <laughs> You know, she laid down the colors, and the first one was like a yellow, a bright yellow, and I'm not a big yellow fan. It has its place, but I was like, okay. And then Nicolazo Gold, and then she had some blues, three different blues, and I was like, oh, dear Lord. Okay, it was just a little tile, doing a bloom, and I, it just came out amazing. So I'm thinking, do I do a bloom, or do I do a swipe? So I've got my pillow down, and my colors here I have... Um, I'll tell you as I go. Um, yeah, I actually remembered them this time. <laughs> I didn't write them down, so I'm hoping my my brain remembers all this. But So I think we're just going to try to go for a bloom. Uh, so to get started, we are going to use this. This is a custom color I made with PLP's Parakeet. And, oh dear Lord, can I, <laughs> eye candy. I love eye candy. It's called uh, Kyoko G yellow or something like that i it's it's japanese names i'm thinking of japanese um writing so i just don't even have a clue but it's a really pretty yellow so that's what i i start off with i just a little tinge of green in there so i think that's pretty awesome so we're going to start off with that and i'm going to put that right in the center and i'm going to put a good amount on here i want to have enough color that i can blow out So, yep, that's my first color. My second one, I wanted a Nicolay's Old Gold, something to that effect. So, I took TLP Zeus. Oh, this color just drives me crazy. As Bubbles would say, this rocks my world. Um, <laughs> it's Zeus, and then it's also Color Arts Ginger Peach, which alone, oh my God, I love that color. So, um, this is pretty darn close to Nicolay's Old Gold, except this has like a lot of more bling to it. Um, yeah, so we're going to leave that down a little bit more in the middle there. Yeah, I go a little crazy with this color. So, <laughs> so my next color I'm going to use is, um, I think the darkest blue I've got, which is, it's like a blue green. This is Macaw blue green, and this is not custom. This is just straight out of the eye candy. Um, beautiful, beautiful shade. Okay, and my next color I have is... Two of them, one by Color Art Primary Elements, uh, Ocean Wave, and TLP's Waterfall, one of the new colors that they came out with. So we're going to put that on here. And I'm just playing. We're having fun. So if they don't come out, hey, we tried, right? Okay, and here's one. Um, I think this is by Eye Candy. It's the um, Okinawa Blue. And I think it's got a, uh, it's called Chrysophilus or Chrysocolis maybe um, by uh, Primary Elements too. So that's another pigment. Yeah, usually I, I use a couple of fluid paints or two paints in here, but I just, the bling of these things just, just kind of did me in, you know. <laughs> and then last but not least, I have this beautiful, this is right by Eye Candy. This is Wisteria Purple. Doesn't really look purple, but... Hey, good enough for me. So, and so now 
we have that. I want to center that a little bit. I'll center that there. There we go. So now I have two cell activators, and let me get a spoon here. Um, my first one is black, Amsterdam lamp black, and that's got a little bit of interference macaw in there, which is a blue interference. Um, Darren Nixon taught me that. I'm going to center that right in the middle. And then on top of that, haha, I have my green, my pre night. This is pre night mixed with a little Amsterdam pearl green just to give it a little bit of uh, thickness, structure, as you will, because it, it was way too thin. So, all right, so we're going to blow this out and we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> yeah, see if we can't make something out of this. I want to push the paint out enough so that some of the other colors come through. Like the yellow that I'm seeing there is gorgeous. And don't worry if you're, um, you think you're pushing too much out too far, then you can always, um, take your little mini dryer. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this a lot. This is really nice. <laughs> I gotta say the colors are just really, really just, just hitting me right in the face in a very good way. Um, yep, so what I'm going to do here is just kind of take my little skewer dude here and I'm going to do a little bit of designing. Um, make sure you wipe your toothpick off after you pull it out of the paint each time. Um, I did that before and well, I just kept sticking it back in and that you know, wasn't good. I, I had some kind of wonky designs there. So um, yeah, here's the pillow that I kind of blew up, but that's okay. That probably will spin off. And I think like I said in my first video that even if the pillow um, shows through a little bit. Sometimes that that called ghost cells, ghost space, I guess. Um, I think I just made a new word up. <laughs> um, it's okay. It kind of adds to the painting sometimes. So, Oh, I am just... I am loving this. Like, really? <laughs> Last video, I kept saying, I am digging this. I'm digging it. And I'm going to say it again, I'm digging this. Oh my gosh, I'm digging this. I'm really loving this a lot. So we're just going to play with it a little bit. Oops. Yeah, see, that's where you got to be careful because what I just did, you don't want that. I should be using a towel or a rag to wipe this off instead of my hands, but that's okay. So we're just going to go around this a little bit. And even in here you can do that. And when this stretches out, those designs are going to like stretch out with it. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, hands down, I can't stress that enough. Yeah, just get creative and play. Don't be afraid. See, I want to just take a picture of this right now. Because I'm like, when I spin it, I'm so afraid it's going to like mess up. <laughs> can't be afraid, though. That's what this is all about, is learning. You're going to have, you're going to have not so nice paintings that, you wished you could have done better on, but you know what? It's all it's all good. I have a friend, Tessa Mamaya, a uh, contestant in my art. She will take paintings that didn't turn out so great in her mind, and she just embellishes them. I'm just blown away. 
uh, she, yeah, she takes them and what anybody else probably would have thrown them out or redid them. And she takes them and creates a masterpiece with it. So if you ever get a chance, look at, uh, look up Tesla Mamaya art on YouTube. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is fun. I am really having fun with this one. Um, yeah, this is... Now, I am hoping and praying that this just comes out <laughs> as good as it looks right now. I definitely want to play with this a little bit. And look at that with just a little bit of a toothpick. Just playing around with it can do for a painting. And then you can even take it, go the opposite way, and just pull it out a little bit. Little points on your leaves. I like doing that too. And I don't even know why I'm doing that because this is all going to spin off anyhow. I just wish I could leave it like this. Just not even move it. Oh my. Okay, guys, we ready for the drum roll here. Uh, <laughs> let's see what happens when I spin this out. And I am going to go ever so slow. Yeah, just want to bring that little guy out a little more. We're ready. Actually, before I do this, I am going to. Um, there's my cup. I have a little cup that I put all my leftover paint in. And right now, I am definitely going to put some of this in here because there's a lot of it already here. Yeah, I'm going to have a definite custom color here. <laughs> I probably put way too much pillow on here, but I'm learning. I am definitely learning as I go. So, um, yeah, it's all right. So we'll put some of this on here. There we go. Oh. I am in love with these colors. Oh my goodness. I have to say this is the first time a bloom ever looked this beautiful. I just don't even want to like this and spit it. So we're going to go slow. I hope y'all can see this okay. I'm going to move it over this way a little bit because I think I had moved it over when I was trying to reach the cord. So let's see what happens. Okay, and you can even stop and kind of look at it and if you want to add more designs because a lot of these designs are spinning off, please do so. Please absolutely do so. Oh yeah, this is just, I'm going to push it this way because I want my pillow, my paint to come out this way. I think that's the way. So what we're going to do a little more now is we're going to skim some more of this color off. Um, yeah, let me get a smaller palette knife, I think. Less messy, I guess. Not really. <laughs> Not really. My hands are covered. There's probably an easier, better way to do this, but... Right now, it works for me, and I'm sure I'll learn as I go. There. Yeah, this is really looking nice. Um, so we're going to spin it some more. And I may end up taking my skewer and, um, yeah, I'm going to add a couple more little swirlies in here, I think. Yeah, see all the little designs I made? But the leaves are gone, but that's okay. So we can do this still. Because there's still enough paint on here that's going to come off. And just have fun. I like the plain leaves too, uh, the, the pattern, but I, I really like the little design in there. Um, even though I like a little double one here. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. Ha! Ah, there we go. Isn't that cute? And then once that spins out again, um, it'll stretch it. Hopefully it won't get rid of it all the way, <laughs> but who knows? All right, are we ready? We're going to spin this out again. 
Okay, so now it's getting really close to that edge and I don't want to lose that part. So I am going to pull this down a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, um, yeah, and then I'm going to spin it this way. <coughs> Holy cow, I'm just like blown away. I did not expect it to come out this good. I did not. Oh my goodness. Again, I think I mentioned it on my last video. Dylan Mixon taught me don't spit it so fast because you are going to wreck them cells and you don't want to do that. Yeah, I put on a lot of paint here. Oops. So, yeah, that'll spin off. Yeah, be careful what you do because look what I just did. It's okay. Yeah, that's going to come right off. I still got a lot of paint left. Now I'm moving the cup, and all I do is leave it right here on this. Right. So now, yeah, a little more paint here. It just keeps coming off. It's all right. See, I'm learning too. I'm putting on way too much paint, but I didn't think it was too much, but I guess it is. So let's spin this on a little more. Okay. And then we're going to go this way. Oh, God, I am just tough. I'm... I'm I'm blown away, guys. I'm just blown away with this. Um, yeah, I can't even. <laughs> I know these kind of techniques are not for everybody, but I, I'm telling you, this is just crazy pretty. Go this way because I want, I want to pull this design back down toward the middle. This whole thing here without. Tilting it, tilting it sometimes gets the cells to stretch out and they lose their beautiful shape. So, oh, I'm just hoping that this is like, like thin enough where the paint's not moving anymore because I really don't want to spin it out anymore. Oh, I so don't want to spin this out anymore. This, this just is, is tough. The colors are just absolutely working for me. So I guess what we can do is, yeah, it's still moving a little bit. Um, I haven't been really spinning it very much, very hard. So well guys, there you have it. I'm, wow. <laughs> I can't even, I'm just kind of blown away at this. Did I not make a good choice with a name for my art channel? Because, look. <laughs> uh, no gloves for me. So, anyway, um, there you have it. And I want to thank you for joining me today. <laughs> I love to talk. I do. Uh, when I'm nervous, when I'm happy. Um, but I also like to explain as I go and, and help people to really fully understand how to how to do one of these. If you're just starting, if you have been doing this for a while, um, there's always something that you can learn um, from the same technique. So uh, if you like what you saw today and you enjoyed my gift of gab, <laughs> please, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I can keep making awesome videos like this for you. And... Uh, also leave a comment in the section below. Let me know if you liked it, what, what you think I could have done better. I'm honestly, I just want to, I want to create nice, beautiful art. And if people out there have some really good ideas, I'd love to hear from you. And I just love to hear from you in general. That's kind of why I did this. I love meeting people. And, um, there we have it. So, and also to, um, Hit the notification bell. It'll let you remind you of when I have my next video out. And I'm trying to get them out um, more and more. So uh, until then, guys, uh, this was amazing. And thank you for sharing this with me. And peace out. And I will definitely see you when I see you.